Hey everyone, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, much appreciated. Uh, let's get right into this one. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty popular one from the Springsteen catalog, especially uh, live back in the 80s, probably back on the Born in the USA Tour 85. Uh, Fire, uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, there's different arrangements you can do. This is how I've done it. Uh, this is how I actually played it with Lost in the Flood a few, you know, years back. Um, I'll walk you through that piece of it. Um, And then there's the bridge. Right? So really straightforward. So here's what we're doing. Let's get right into it. I'm playing a power chord. G power chord off the, uh, the sixth um, string, third fret, right there. So sixth string, fifth string on the fifth fret. Okay? Hit it twice. And then open. Right? So it just it's either going to be this position or it's open leaving the pinky on that fifth fret, okay? Um, not sure if it's 100% accurate, but I've done it. Sounds decent. And that rhythm pattern is going to be this. Okay? I'm hitting these two strings all times, and it's going to be fretted and then unfretted with that sixth string. That's all we're doing. And you probably want to use your, your um, the, the, you know, your palm here, the, the, the back of the palm, just to kind of mute those strings. And then we're going to move it up to the fifth fret. Usually you only play that section or that area twice. A lot of it's going to be based on that third position, okay, or third fret. Now, when you get to that final part of that phrase, again, what I've done, all power chords. I'm going to the seventh fret of the power chord E on the uh, fifth string, right there. And instead of lifting it up and being open, I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to bar it across this, these two strings, the, the E and the, the uh, B strings. Um, I should say the E and the A strings. My bad. Um, so it's going to be this. So no open strings there. Just the E and the A string. And then the walk down. Or walk up. That's pretty much your, your, your section for most of the tune there. So it's going to be the third, third fret. Moving to the fifth fret. Back to the third fret. And I'm going seventh fret here. And then just C to the D. And I kind of give it a slide, just kind of gives it a little. Alright, the only other section really is the bridge. Handful of chords. C to the G to the D. Back to the G. That's the first part of it. You're going to repeat it, but we're going to switch it up. A couple chords in the middle there. To the A. And on the D, and I kind of give it a little, just something, that, um, just to separate it from everything else, because it's, everything kind of drops out from there. And it comes back into the, to the, uh, the lyric, Romeo and Juliet, right back to the... So all together. Again. The A. And here's your tune, all right? So um, practice, rewind it, pretty straightforward. Great for solo, great with the band. Um, enjoy. If you haven't done so, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. It's much appreciated. Um, we've got some more Springsteen coming. I know uh, he's getting ready for that tour coming up soon. So uh, I'll try to get as much out there as I can. 
try to anticipate what he's going to play and maybe get some songs up here to, to coincide with what the, uh, the set list might be. All right. So enjoy. I'll see you.